Turn from your sin, people. It's a concert? Turn from your sin. Do you have sin in your life, Kevin? Do you have sin in your life? Are you warning him that he's going to go into hell for his sin? Absolutely. Do you have sin in your life, sir? Absolutely. Then you're going right with him. Bob and his friends here are going to hell. It's a good thing I'm here. Turn from your sin. I'm sorry? You don't have sin? I stopped sinning. I used to be drunk. I used to get drunk. I don't get drunk anymore. Perfect like Jesus too. What's that? I wish I was perfect like Jesus too. You can't be, but the power of God. Jesus said, go and sin no more. You think he meant it? He told, no, it's not trying. It's a choice. Sin is a choice, people. There's this false idea out here that, well, I'll try to stop sinning. I'm going to try to live holy. Hey! Newsflash! Sin is a choice! When you look at pornography, that's a choice! When you get drunk, that's a choice! When you lie, that's a choice! Every time you sin, you have chosen to sin! Nobody stumbles into sin! Nobody accidentally falls into sin! Sin is a choice that you pick! You could pick righteousness, or you could pick sin. You could choose to love your neighbor, or you could choose to sin against your neighbor. Every one of these choices you're going to be held to account to. On the day of judgment, right after you die, you're going to be standing in front of a holy God. And if you're not washed in the blood of Jesus Christ, you're going to be cast into hell fire. That, that's not my opinion, that's what Jesus Christ said. You know, Jesus, the one that made you, the one that's keeping you alive right now, the one that created you in your mother's womb, he's the one that you're going to have to give account to. And if you've chosen to sin, if you have rejected his salvation, then you will be cast in the hellfire you deserve. See, the Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It goes on to say that the wages of sin is death. If you're wondering why you might go to hell, it's because that is your wage, because you've earned it. You earn your way into hell. You can't earn your way into heaven, contrary to all the popular religions, you know, the fake religions like Catholicism or Hinduism or any of those other ones, you can't earn your way into heaven. You can't take Mass enough. You can't say enough Hail Marys or pray the Rosary a million times. Oh, that it is a bunch of paganism, a bunch of witchcraft. Only through the atoning blood of Jesus Christ on the cross can you be saved. Turn from your wicked ways. Turn from this filthy rock music. They're not singing about the Bible. Oh, they may mention the Bible. They may come out with a verse or two. And then they just come out with a message just to make you happy, make you feel good, just so they can get your money. Oh, it's only $10 to get in, but then they want more money. After the $10, then they want you to sponsor the kids. They want you to buy a shirt. It's all about the money. This is not about the Lord. This is about getting your money and distracting you from, oh, I don't know, maybe reading the Bible. Oh, maybe obeying the Bible. Maybe loving your neighbor. Going to a rock concert does not do one thing for your neighbor. Going to a rock concert does not do one thing for the Lord. The Lord never said go to rock concerts and entertain yourself. I leave this here, brother. Yeah. Here's what the Bible says. Since how many of you are probably biblically illiterate. How many of you read the Bible every day? Is there anybody that reads the Bible every day? You know that book that has 66 books in it? 1189 chapters? Over 31,000 verses? Well here's a few verses some of you could use. The Apostle Paul wrote, Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. But instead, most of you are being just like the rest of the world. If there's a rock concert, you're there. 
Oh, they may slap it, a Christian name on it, but it's just like the rest of the world. And the Bible says, come out from among them and be ye separate. Tapagi, Tapagi, go out from thence, touch no unclean thing. Go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean, that bear the vessels of the Lord. You are supposed to be vessels of the Lord, but you fill your minds and you fill your hearts with ungodly music. Stop it. If you're a real Christian, you need to go home and repent. You need to turn from this wickedness and turn to the Lord. I am here. This man has a good question. What's your name, sir? Ron has a question. Who am I representing? I'm representing my Lord Jesus Christ today. And that's what you people should be representing. The Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, what what church? What denomination? Again, Ron has another good question. What denomination am I representing? There's no denominations in the Bible. If you people were familiar with the Bible, there's no denominations. The, Jesus said to go into the world and teach every nation to be a disciple. Yeah, I don't, I don't recall Jesus ever calling everyone out, though. He called out the Sadducees and the Pharisees. He called out the Sadducees and the Pharisees, and he rebuked whole cities. He said, woe unto you, Bethesda! Woe unto you, Chorazin! It's going to be more tolerable on the day of judgment than for, than for Sodom and Gomorrah than for you. You remember that, sir? The whole city. Jesus preached to thousands of people. What did he tell the Samaritan woman at the well or the, the adulterers? He told them to go and sin no more. And that's what I'm here telling people today. Not to pass judgment. He never told us she was going to hell. The Bible says to judge righteous judgment. So when I see people going to the bars, when I see people going to the rock concerts, it's easy to judge that that is ungodly. Well, this is also a time of fellowship instead of the... I mean, this is a time of entertaining yourself. There's no fellowship going on at a rock concert of everybody jumping up and down, bobbing their head. That's not fellowship. Well, I don't know if you've been to one of these. I have been to one of these and I repented. I will not go again. It was a bunch of worldly, heavy rock and roll music with ungodly lyrics. You, you look at the lyrics of these bands and try and find them in the Bible. 99% of them is just something. Out. Is Red playing tonight? Is Red, Red, are you familiar with Red? Well, they're probably out playing with Slipknot or Marilyn Manson because their lyrics would fit right in. And they've been, they're not here, but they've been with this winter jam. And they are as satanic and then demonic and as soul cursing as any heavy metal Satan loving band. And they were part of it. The Bible says to turn away from those. How much, how much, how much is this? Like the, the protest, how much, how many people have you actually gotten to the event by now? Jesus didn't say go and tell everybody to repeat. He said go and preach the gospel, right? Yeah, but the gospel. And that's what we're doing, preaching the gospel. Well, what is the gospel? The gospel is that Jesus came and he laid down his life for the sins of the world. Why? Why did Jesus come lay down his life for the sins of the world? Save us from the punishment that we deserve. Right, save us from hell. Most people don't know they're going to hell for their sins, sir. You're not preaching the gospel. You're preaching God, right? Most people don't know that they're... Well, first of all, I can't condemn anybody. I'm just pointing it out. They've already condemned themselves through their sin. Okay? But most people have been lied to and said, Oh, you're fine with God. God knows you're going to sin. I never say pet sin. But pet sinners, for sure. Love sinners, but never love sin. That's right. That's right. So why aren't you rebuking these people from this sinful, wicked show? Because I don't believe this is a sinful, wicked show. Maybe I'm just as lost as you. You only need that. about a dime's worth of discernment to look at a couple of song lyrics to know that this music is wicked. You, mean, don't tell me, you don't mean to tell me you ain't jacked off to no form when you was a kid. See what I'm saying? This man, you know you're going to hell, sir? Oh, yeah. You realize you're going to hell? Well, at least he knows. At least he knows so I can move on to the second part of the gospel that he can be saved. But most of these people are doing exactly what that man says. They do it on a regular basis on their iPhone or on their computer, and they think they're all right with God. 
That's why I'm telling them that they're going to hell because they've been lied to and they think that they can go to heaven after living wickedly their whole life. I agree that the gospel has been preached very soft. And I'm out here to preach a hard gospel because these people have hardened hearts. I'm out here to plow the rocky ground. You talk about people repenting, they don't even know they're in trouble. They don't think they have anything to repent from. Fair enough. God bless you. So we're out here today to preach the loving message of Jesus Christ because most pastors have fallen down on the job. Every church that I've been to has fallen down on the job. They haven't told people that they're condemned with their sin. They just say, you're all right with God. Oh, you pray, pray this little prayer one Sunday morning and you're in like Flynn. You're a child and you go up to the altar and you pray a little prayer, prayer and they say, oh, praise the Lord, welcome to the family of God. And the person goes out and they sin and they sin and they sin and when they die, they get cast into hell fire. Most people have no idea. They have no idea that they're in great, great danger with a holy and loving God. Jesus said, if you do not turn from your sin, you will all likewise perish. Turn ye, turn ye, for why should you die? The Bible says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, that ye receive not her plagues. And if you don't come out of these worldly systems, like rock and roll concerts, or a lot of worldly, worldly things that the fake church does us today, you're going to get the plagues just like the rest of the world. You wonder why you have broken families, broken relationships, divorce, sexually transmitted disease, abortion in the church. It's because you're living just like the world. And the Bible says, forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of understanding. This rock concert is foolish. It's foolish, foolish, foolish. Jesus said to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength. You're not going in here to love the Lord. You're not going in here to love your neighbor. You're coming in here just to entertain yourself. You're coming to this rock concert just to make yourself feel good. And that's not what, why God made you. God didn't make you just so you could entertain yourself. Just so you could have a good time. Just so you could do whatever makes you feel good. You're supposed to be loving the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And if you're living in wickedness, if you're living with sexual perversion in your life, you're amassing the wrath of God over your head that's going to be poured out on the day of judgment. And the Bible says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Is that what you're doing tonight? Presenting your bodies as sacrifice unto God, doing what God says, living the way God says to live. Not going to a rock concert, you're not. Not coming to this worldly music and entertaining yourself for all night long. You neglect your, your Bible, you neglect to love the Lord, and you just entertain yourself and entertain yourself. And then one day you're going to die, and you're going to wonder why the Lord cast you into hell. Jesus said many are going to say, Lord, Lord, did we not do money works in your name? And he's going to say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And the Bible goes on to say, Now therefore, make confession unto the Lord of your fathers, and do his pleasure, and separate yourself from the people of the land, and from the strange wives. That's right, that's what the Bible says. Make your confessions unto the Lord. It's the Lord's commandments you've sinned against. Not some priest, 
not some man. The Bible doesn't say to confess your sins to a man. You need to confess your sins to the Lord. He is the one you sinned against. He is the one whose commandments you've broken. And the Bible says, And be not conformed to this world, but ye be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect in the will of God. Y'all are being just like the world. The whole world goes to rock concerts. through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought but to think soberly according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith but when you're in a rock concert screaming and jumping up and down you're not behaving yourself soberly you're behaving yourself like the rest of the world just entertaining yourself the Apostle John said, Wherefore receive ye one another, as Christ also received us to the glory of God. And if any man shall take away the words of this book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, and out of the holy city, and from the things which are. See, there's a lot of pre preachers, a lot of pastors, they just teach the verses that they think you're going to like. There's a lot of pastors out there, they just tell, tell you the ear-tickling message saying, oh, you're all right with God. God understands you're going to sin. But yeah, that's the problem. God understands your sin. And God's going to judge you for your sin. And God's not going to wink at your sin. He's not going to put up with your sin. You're going to be judged for your sin if you don't repent. Jesus said, if you do not repent from your sin, you will all likewise perish. Sir, you shouldn't be going to this concert. You shouldn't be setting things on fire and inhaling the smoke. That's not why God gave you that body, to fill it full of smoke. But you mock. You do it anyway. But you've been warned. You've been warned. So when you stand on the day of judgment, on the day of judgment sir, you're going to know why. Jesus said to love the Lord your God with all of your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Okay? Okay. Just one last word, sir. Mockers go to hell. I know you can stand there and mock, say, well, did God tell you to wear that? Okay. That, that's one more. Hell's, hell's a little bit higher for you now. You need to turn from sin.